This is Motion Bright, the motion activated stick up LED light. That's today's review. All right, here it is, not much to it. There's uh, 10 LED lights in there. It says it's motion activated, which I'm assuming that is the motion activation sensor. It requires four AAA batteries that are not included. My question is how good does the motion activation work? How long do the batteries last? And can you move it once you've attached it to a surface? Because this doesn't look like something that's gonna be reusable. Those are the questions I'm gonna find out, so let's get right to it. First, you remove the mounting plate that slides in like that, okay. Let's, let's lighten up as I put the batteries in here. We have light. Okay, we have light. I don't see an on off switch. I guess it's just motion activated right from the start. But let me go find somewhere to mount this and get our first test going. All right, so I'm not sure if the adhesive is gonna be able to be reused, so I'm not gonna use the adhesive for some of my initial tests. I'll do that a little bit later on. Right now I've got it kind of sitting in my closet and I just wanna see how the motion detector works when I open the closet door and walk in because that's what they show in the commercial. So let's see if it stands up to that scrutiny. Oh, it turned on. Very nice. I don't know if that's really brighter than a light bulb though. Here's the light. I mean, you can kind of see in here, I guess. So I think that worked pretty well. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in front of the motion sensor and time how long it takes for the light to go out. And here we go. I'm gonna go down here out of the way and just not move. All right, looks like it stays on for about 30 seconds, which is not bad. Hey, it turned back on again. So, so far the motion sensor looks like it's pretty sensitive, which is a good thing, because you want it to be able to turn on, you know, when you enter the room. So 30 seconds for the light to go off and the motion sensor seems like my first test worked pretty well. Let's keep going. Motion Light is similar to a product called Underlight that I reviewed earlier this year. Both of them require motion and darkness to turn on, but the Underlight is a little bit more fixed in a position because it has the adhesive all the way down, while the Motion Light can be removed from its mount and carried with you. The one advantage that Underlight has over Motion Bright is that Underlight has an on off switch while Motion Bright does not. So you have to just kind of wait for it to turn off or remove the batteries if you want to turn this one off. I think that because the lights are so much more condensed on the Motion Light, they actually almost seem brighter than the 12 on Underlight. That's probably just an optical illusion. All right, I've, I want to show you how wide of an angle the motion detector is. I've got the camera, the Motion Bright, and myself all in a straight line. I'm going to start moving at a right angle to the motion bright and you can see when it turns on. So there you go, that's a pretty good angle as far as that goes. Not 180, but certainly pretty wide. All right, I'm about 20 feet away from the motion bright right now. I'm gonna move around a little bit and see if it can pick my motion up from this far away. Okay, it took me a couple of moves, but it actually turned on. So I think that it has a pretty good width and a pretty good depth as far as motion detection goes. I am about 12 feet in front of it now that it turned off, let me move again. Yep, pretty good, pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna use the mounting strip and I'm gonna mount it outside. All right, you might recognize this, this is Everbright, one of the first videos I ever did. I'm gonna put the Everbright right here in the very front and let it charge for the rest of the day and see how it goes tonight. It just stopped working about a week ago. It's been up there for 13 months, so I got 13 months of use out of it. But right up here next to it, I'm gonna put the Motion Bright on this smooth surface. The packaging says it should stick to virtually any surface. With that said, I'm gonna put it right here and it should stick. If it's on the ground broken tomorrow morning, I wouldn't trust the adhesive. If it's there tomorrow, I might. All right, all I have to do is peel the strip off the back, mount it up there, and then we'll see how it works. All right, the adhesive strip is in place. I'm just gonna stick it up there. I think this smooth area right here is probably the best. This wood, I'm not so sure about. Okay. Okay, there's my house. I'm gonna drive up to it, and I'm gonna see how well it goes. It's the headlights, that's what it is. The headlights are stopping it from turning on. So it won't work if your car is coming up to the driveway. Let's try some more. I'm at the back of the driveway. I'm gonna walk forward until it turns on. Okay. 
Oh, well, that wasn't as impressive. That was only about maybe 10 feet away. I was hoping it would turn on a little bit farther out. Okay, well, it's been up there for two days now. It hasn't fallen off yet. I'm gonna not only remove the motion bright, but I'm gonna remove the backing and see if I can transfer this somewhere else with it and see how well it still sticks. Rip Everbright, 13 months it lived. That was about it. Okay. All right, it still feels sticky. That's good. Didn't leave any residue behind. So I'm gonna put it in this pantry right here and just stick it right there. Now let's see if it works. Oh, it worked. And it feels pretty stable. I'm not sure how many times you'll be able to move it. It might lose its adhesiveness at some point. I'm sure you could buy other adhesives to put on there if it stops sticking. Something else to point out is they, the commercial shows them using it in cabinets like this. The problem is, is if, it's, if it's got a clear door and it's light, you're not gonna get any light because the motion bright needs darkness in order to work. So that's not gonna work. Maybe up here? No, not even up there. You're gonna have to have darkness for it to kick on, so I don't think that using it in a cabinet like that, like the one they show in the advertising, is really going to work. So next up, this isn't really a test. This is just something fun. I'm gonna have Bailey go into a dark closet with me in the Motion Bright and see what happens. Check this out. All right, it's daytime right now, but I'm in my closet because I wanted to try out the Motion Bright and see how Bailey reacts to it. She's out there right now, and I'm gonna let her in. Bailey, come on, come in here. Come on, come on. There's ba What do you think, Bailey? Come here. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. What do you think, Bailey? You like that? I don't think she likes it. All right, she wants out there. Bailey. She has no interest in the motion bright whatsoever. So I don't think that Bailey gives this a thumbs up. You might be thinking, you know, I've seen some as seen on TV light up products in the past and you're not mistaken. I've got a list here of just some of the ones in recent years. Check this list out. A bulbs that you stick and hang. You've got the Insta bulb, Mighty Light, Everbright, Underlight, the Super Bright Switch, also known as the Mighty Bright Switch, Light Angel, Stick and Click, Sensor Bright, Night Angel. As far as lights that you can hold or wear, You've got the Bell & Howell light bar, torch light, tack light, atomic beam, the Cleveroscope flashlight, atomic beam headlight, the tack light, and atomic beam lanterns, and luma lights. So how is it possible that Motion Bright is going to stand out above the rest? I have no idea. But I do think that it has a place. I like the fact that it's motion activated and light activated. That can work for or against it, depending on where you want to place it. The other thing is that you have adhesive that probably can't be moved too many times, so you might want to be careful about choosing your placement wisely. As far as the light-up products that I reviewed, the closest I've done, as I said before, was Underlight. I think that both have advantages and disadvantages. The Underlight has the on-off switch, but the Motion Bright is more portable and more compact, so I think that uh, it really depends on what you're looking for. I don't like that bulky battery compartment on the Underlight, which the Motion Bright doesn't have. So really, I think if I were to choose between those two, I'd probably take the Motion Bright. You might wonder why I'm standing here in the middle of nowhere. It's because this sign is pretty cool. I just think that's a cool sign. What do you think? I think Motion Bright's probably worth the $10 I paid for it at Walmart. Just keep something in mind. Placement means everything with this product. You probably can't move it too many times because the adhesive will probably eventually wear off and you can't place it in an area that's too bright or the light will never turn on. Have you used Motion Bright or something like it? Let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe for more As Seen On TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.